Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Supergirl Gaming Team Scouter <laughs> Rocket League Season Challenge. Did you forget <laughs> the words? No, I was just drawing it out. It seemed like maybe you forgot the words a little bit. Nah, I didn't forget the words of the Supergirl Gaming Team Skywater Rocket League Season Challenge. I don't know. <laughs> who would do that? Who could forget? No one. They're such an epic, well-known team who just ended their three-game skid and are about to destroy the Cyclones. The Cyclones. Two and eight, nearly at the end. Two and eight. Look at that. We're still above the fold. The oh, Cyclones yeah. are basically the cow that they feed to the raptors in Jurassic Park. That's and we are those <laughs> raptors. And we are the Raptors. We are the Sky Raptors. Mighty, mighty Raptors. We look no. like birds. No, nobody wanted no. to. No. <laughs> mighty, <laughs> mighty Raptors. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Totally, totally finishing <laughs> off my sick beat was, there. <laughs> were you going for We Are the Titans, Mighty, yes. Mighty Titans? Oh, okay. oh my God, I oh, love that man. movie. Oh, man, who doesn't love Remember the Titans? Probably the guys who played for Marshall. Is that a jump? No! Yeah, that's what happens in the movie. Don't worry. What's the coach's name for Marshall in that movie? Oh gosh, I haven't oh. seen that movie in so long. Oh, you should see it soon. You should see it soon. You should probably see Incredibles 2 before you see that. But, <laughs> I mean, you do work here. It's fine. Oh, dang it. It's fine. Yeah. I'm just giving Jordan a hard time because the reason she hasn't seen it is because she was She's working whilst we saw it for the second time. <laughs> yep. And the first time. Yeah. Yep. All right. Are we ready for some questions? We are ready for some questions. Yeah. yeah. We're uh, always so this ready is from, I don't know if it's The Thomas or The Thomas. The The Thomas. The I The think Thomas. It's very clearly. Hey, brothers. Oh, no. So I'm doing cross country next yeah. fall. That yeah. Away. Well, but I'm Thomas. not quite up to the time I need to make the team. Ooh. Wow. The coach is a lot stricter now than when we did it in previous Ooh. years, so I need to put in a lot of training to get up, or I guess down, to that time. The problem is, I'm really struggling with motivation. How can I get myself to go and run pretty much every day without Boy. quitting? Okay, what you're going to want to do is suggest to your coach something called the Mile Club. And yeah. yes, the Mile Club is a tremendous motivator to get the entire team running, so he'll be, get, he'll be for it, don't you worry. Um, and the mile club works like this. Everyone's giving a running log at the beginning of the summer, and then based on how many miles you run throughout the summer, you get a shirt that you can wear to school, and it looks super and it cool. it shows off. And it shows off how many miles you ran over the summer. Right, right? So, so then you, people know, like, oh my god, he's part of the 500 mile club. Right. The boom! Oh, Good no. finish! Man, yeah, so. I hope we get to watch me miss it first. We do. And then every single day you'll have to like fill out your chart after your run and you can be aiming for whatever uh, mile, whatever hundred mile club you're trying to get to, whether it's two, three. It sounds like you're obviously aiming for five because you're awesome and you're going to make the team be super good, the Thomas. The, the, yeah. the Thomas. I mean, you wouldn't be called the, the Thomas unless. You wouldn't be the Thomas if you weren't going to make that cross country team, you know. Uh, I didn't. Uh, it's it's curious to me that they have to uh, make the cross country team. Up, yeah, that's know? that's honestly one of the great things about mm -hmm. most cross country teams is that you oh. don't have to make oh, it. Oh yeah. Maybe they like, mean make varsity. May, maybe they mean yeah, run top seven, um, as opposed to just running in the in, in the in JV a race. race. In the Javes. Javes. Um, yeah, as it were. Uh, but oh oh, it's a shot on goal. It's gonna go. It's gonna go all the way. Did you just literally? Oh, oh my God! My no gosh, way! I cannot believe it. What a last-minute save! I mean, you gotta hand respect where respect is due, but Man, that's not I one of the times. But it's always like, good to remind people uh, that they should do it. <laughs> good point. That's exactly where I was going with that sentiment. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, boy, doggy. All right. So, so 500 mile club. That's um, the 500 mile club. The other thing that I have like been bound and determined to do since since high school. Um, was literally go out and learn how to run a four minute mile. Boy, um, oh, I can't Four believe. minute mile? Yeah, four gotta get that prefontaine. Gotta get that Steve you know prefontaine action going. Um, I feel like I'd struggle with a How minutes. did that happen? I feel like it, I mean, you were both doing the exact yeah. same thing and somehow yeah. it bounced in between us. Like we were both trying to come to a stop so yeah. it would bounce off and us then and then. Somehow went in between us and right through. That's like the Rocket League equivalent of a nutmeg. Yeah, Gosh, basically. A nutmeg. You know, like from, you from their legs. soccer, where you keep through their legs? Yeah. yeah. You look like a total fool? Yeah. You don't, you don't know that? I've never, I've never heard, heard of that term You guys before. are kidding. You guys, no, you guys are the done. ones not in the know here. I'm, I refuse. No, yeah, yeah. I think oh, I 100% yeah. agree. I did not play soccer as a child. Um, I played all of the other sports, basically. 
I'm surprised it wasn't a, a phrase in hockey or something then. Uh, I've never called it a nutmeg. The five hole. Five hole. Call it the five hole. Yeah. Oh, when you, oh, you, you yeah. meg someone, you call it the five hole. Uh, it sounds like yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, when you nutmeg the goalie, it would be the five hole. Oh, uh, this is just begging anyone at any point. Oh, okay. All right, someone knock I mean, that in. Chip it in. Chip it in. Oh, oh their defense God. is absurd. It really is. I mean, it's the second crazy save they've had this game. Um, the other thing, yeah, that I've always wanted to do, though, was literally just go out and be like, Gosh. can I run a 200 meter at, um, four minute pace? And then just literally, like, go and run a 400 meter until I can run a 400 meter and then a 300 meter. Is, is this minutes. how you learn to do a four minute mile, you think? This is how I would learn how to do a four minute mile. Yeah. If I was going to go after it today. So, like, recently, uh, probably in the past year and a half, I was, like, I had been pretty out of 5K shape for a while and had been... Oh, no! no! Man. You can always tell when they're going to score because I get <laughs> right into the beginning of the story. Yep. <laughs> I think I feel a song coming on. Um, <clears throat> but do you not think that that would uh, create endurance trouble? Like if you're training at lower distances? Well, so I guess what I'm saying is that would be my example of how to run a four minute mile. So if you were to go out and be like, okay, I'm, I want to run an 18 minute 5k, which would be like a pretty, pretty respectable time. Yeah, it's a six minute mile. Yeah. People can do math. Jeez. Um, but <clears throat> if that's what you're going for, but you can't quite run it yet, one option would be, can you run oh one, one mile at six minutes and basically just start your, you know, your, your programming so that it's kind of like, oh, we're going to lose. Yeah. Revolving Man. your programming around the pace, you know, so what you're shooting for is like, I can't do it all at once right now, but I can do a piece of it at that speed. Mm -hmm. And then just slowly dial it in. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great, actually. It's just smart. Yeah. So yeah, the the Thomas. Just start with start with distances that are shorter at the pace. At the pace, yeah, exactly. And then and slowly right, just build mods. yourself up. All right, man, we, we, we recovered for a hot second there. We can do it against the mammoths, guys. Is we this the first time we've had a losing it. record? Oh my god, we do have a losing record. We've got to get back to 500. Got it. We got we to. We can do it. Okay. Communication. Right. right, right. Guys. All right, let's focus up a little bit more. Let's focus. Worst advice, better gameplay. That's right. That's right. We can do this. I'm going for it. Keeping in the sports and fitness theme, mm. uh, Jackie says, I've started working out again recently, and I've been doing sport regularly for the past four months, but sometimes I feel like I don't make any progress. Oh Any tips gosh. on how to stay motivated if my real... progress has plateaued? Uh, I'm just watching our terrible replay where I was stuck on another my car. My car. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right, give, give it to us one more time, Jordan. Sorry about that. Uh, started working out, uh, but not making any progress in her fitness. Any oh, tips gosh. on how to stay motivated when her progress isn't moving forward? That is fine really progress hard. there. I can't. Yeah, like I'm, I'm curious what the, what progress is for her. Is it is it uh, like a yeah, is it like goal? lifting or more strength, weight? Strength is, goal? It is it losing goal? weight? Is yeah, it it's running weight, faster? Then, well, let me give you guys my example. Okay. Um, so when I was big into rock climbing, um, <clears throat> I basically stepped into the sport, had zero expectation. I didn't even plan to climb based on the difficulty of the route. I, my right. game plan was literally to go in and just like goof off, like a, as if it was like a jungle gym. Right. Um, but in case you don't know, the way that a, a rock climbing, um, or at least bouldering, how a uh, difficulty is determined to an outsider, uh, it's basically called a VB, like V for beginner, um, V0, V1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, and all the way on up. And, um... What? Gosh, I hate that. It's like, I feel like I'm standing in there, I'm just just dedicating myself to playing goalie, and it's like, nope, doesn't matter. Didn't even see him coming. Man. But as I stepped into the sport, <clears throat> it turned out that I was pretty, like, naturally good at it anyway. Um, so I was able to climb, like, ones and maybe twos basically out, like, out of the game, <coughs> day one, which was pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then for me, it was one of these things where, like, as time went on, um, I was able to, you know, level up to threes, and then a little bit more time, and then fours, then a lot more time, and then fives, 
and then like just started working on sixes and it was getting to the point where it was so much time in between my ability to like move on up and like seven was nowhere oh. on the horizon that's that, was, that was a there real good go. shot dude oh, man oh man so seven seven is nowhere to be found for me and it i think all of a sudden like the sport that i had like just been up 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 about all of a sudden it wasn't going up anymore mm -hmm. um and i think it was super discouraging so how would you guys have recommended me not be discouraged in that situation well i think at that point like what you had been doing was all gym climbing and so it might have been fun to just like start doing like outdoor climbing oh sure like yes, add, like a different yeah, like yeah, yeah just like add instead of the thing being like and you were doing a lot of bouldering you could have started doing like top roping yep. or something instead um, so like tangentially related things to what you were trying to progress at, right? But not precisely that thing, right? So like I think like like you said, the point when you started wasn't necessarily to be the world's greatest climber. You started getting a lot better, but um, the point was just to have fun at the beginning. Yeah, no, for sure, absolutely. So um, you just got to get back to the points where you're just doing it for the fun of it, rather than for the exercise, better fitness challenge of it. Um, I don't know what this person's story is, but oh god, don't, oh wow, oh, that was going to be a lot worse. Me too. Oh, I do that uh, awkward, but it like, can be frustrating. Um, the, I don't, the other thing I might recommend for this person is getting like an actual like trainer uh, who you can like talk about fitness goals with about what you're specifically trying to accomplish. Um, I know sometimes like our the way we work out is it's uh, like in terms of trying to get more weight lifted, mm -hmm. it's like a very linear progression where yeah. you do uh, you know. Five by ten at this weight, and the next week you do the same thing, but at five and pounds more, slow. and then it's slow. And for a long time, sometimes it can feel like, man, you're not really going. Oh. Boom, yeah. Like, um, you know, I, I know, like Ben, when you started lifting weights too, you felt like, oh, it was forever before you started like actually getting to a place where it was even challenging for you. Right, right. Um, oh my god, I, that was like almost the complete opposite of this person. I was having like, I was just frustrated. It was mm -hmm. like. I'm, I'm never sore from these workouts. And I think it was one of these things where like, my form also wasn't great. So like, it super made sense why he wasn't like, all right, let's just put a ton of weight on his shoulders and see what happens. Nice, Ooh. dude, I, I hit that and I'm like, man, how right now. Like, Look at that. I, I was thinking, oh, I can lift so much more than this, but he's he told me, oh, yeah, it your catches form up with is you mediocre. Quick. It catches up with you real quick. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> form matters. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe try and find something tangentially related to whatever fitness you're doing to uh, fill the void. Ooh, boy. That was a weird and ball. if it is the type of thing where you are weightlifting, say, but not making any progress, you might want to check your diet. Make sure you're getting enough. That's true. Like, yeah. straight up enough calories in the first Ooh, place, oh, but no. also protein's really good for you if you're trying to get stronger or build muscle. Yes, that's a huge one. So mm -hmm. like, we just. Uh, we just did a my fitness pal thing, uh, which is like how you kind of like can track like your food intake for Alice, who's weightlifting with me, and she'd been getting like so sore that she couldn't function, and it turned out it's because she was getting like a quarter of the amount of protein she's supposed to yeah. be getting. So she couldn't like so rebuild. So literally, her muscles just didn't have the necessary um, right, like you know, ingredients to yeah, continue I, and to I grow. think that came from like a lifetime of her like. Uh, the way she like stayed fit and or stayed you know skinny was just simply by not eating much. Sure. And sure. then like you know oh that's that's Whoop. the way it do. Oh, oh man, I thought you almost. had that safe. I it did. <gasps> um, uh, and then she yeah, she switched to this thing and it turns out that that yeah exercise requires food. Yeah, who knew? Yep. <laughs> who knew? Oh, almost. Dude. Uh, so close. Close. Piggybacking <laughs> off of that question, then um, Jana has a question. What are ways to stay eating healthy foods other than removing bad food, foods from Whoop. your house? Because I still live at home and my parents and siblings have lots of unhealthy snacks. Oh, uh, man. Interesting. Yeah, when you're not the one doing the shopping, it can be hard. Especially if you have, like, your parents or whatever. Um, the answer is that you just have to try... It, oh, it's so hard when it's in the house, too. That's, um, that's a big thing. Uh, I would let it be known that you're trying to eat healthier. But there's ways... Nobody hit it. I was, I was just go. trying to keep them out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try and focus like you're snacking on like like vegetables or nuts or something like that. That's um, the thing is that there are, there are healthy snacks that are good. Yeah. Like that's I think true. I think almost the big problem with with maybe like a current wave of people is that they grew up seeing all these like dietary supplements and diet like fads and stuff, and it really just meant hey, if you go cut out a whole bunch of stuff. Right, the way like your parents have been taught diet is 
to be hungry. Is deprivation. Is, yeah, is deprivation yeah. and that like diet means something you're going to end after a certain amount of time. And whereas realistically, diet literally means anything you're eating ever. So what you want to be doing is adjusting like your entire lifestyle as opposed to like, I'm going on a diet for 10 weeks. Yeah, like, don't go on a diet. Change yeah, don't go on eat. diets. Yeah, change the way you eat altogether. And that can be a really long process that takes you know it's it's hard to be like i'm gonna cut out soda and not eat bread and you know all, like everything all at once it can be uh tiny things like that but my recommendation one is the easiest thing you can do is if you're drinking soda or like sugary drinks cut that out boom that's easy water all around right um uh and then if you're at like dinner or whatever, just maybe like pass on the bread or the potatoes or whatever. Um, all that, that it, carbs when you're not doing a lot of running or uh, like immediately after you finish lifting weights or tend to just uh, make you bigger. You're not no. fat, your carbs. Yeah, you're not fat, your carbs. We've said it before on this channel. You're not fat, your carbs. Man, guys, two games in a row. What? No way. We're back Ooh. to uh, an even 6-6. Six, six. There it, it is. There you go. All right. Well, I thought we had some good questions today. I yeah, think so. Good. I think so. We're getting it all knocked out, and mm -hmm. we're just moving right back on up the standings, yes, which is yes. necessary because we were not looking good. Not looking good there for a little while. <sighs> no sirree, Bob. It's coming back. But guys, if you have any questions or need life advice, or if you've ever taken any of our life advice and you just want to give us an update and let us know how you're doing today, we totally want to hear all of those things, so be sure to leave them in the towel section down below. But otherwise, until next time. Bye. Bye.